It is less than one week before the planned nationwide protest fixed for August 1, 2024. While some citizens have vowed to exercise their constitutional rights to show their grievances over increased hardship in the country through protest, security agencies are warning citizens to be cautious. The Department of State Services says it has uncovered the sponsors and funders of the protest, even as it claims that the protest is politically motivated. Similarly, the Nigeria police have appealed to the organizers of the planned protest to shelve the idea as it might be hijacked by miscreants, bandits and kidnappers, thereby thwarting the original intention of the protesters. We will remain committed to providing protection for those who engage in peaceful protest. That I made very clear in my address. If the protest is peaceful, you will see us protecting the protesters for as long as they remain peaceful. But we have a duty to protect lives and property. So we will not sit back and watch hoodlums burning down our facilities in the name of protest. That we will not condone. Meanwhile, the defense headquarters says the Nigerian military will not be bystanders while the nation is torn apart. Addressing the media during its bi-weekly briefing on operational activities of the armed forces, the director of defense media operations says it will not condone anarchy in the guise of a nationwide protest. Already, we have detected some unscrupulous elements bent on hijacking the planned protest with the aim of making it violent. Many are therefore following in ignorance. For instance, other targets that have been labeled including, include places of worship, businesses, markets, ethnic groups, and members of other political parties among other, it other items and areas targeted. Accordingly, the level of violence being envisaged can only be described as a state of anarchy. The armed forces on its part will not stand by and allow anarchy to befall our nation. The military cited the protest in Kenya, which turned violent and led to the death of several persons. Ferdinand Duroha, Arise News.